Hey guys, I'm going to do a real quick video of how to get GPS phone 6.6.7 .6 for free on the computer. I had to use the computer because I noticed that none of the repos in Cydia have the free version of GPS phone. So what I did was I went to filestube.com and I'll go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing here. You go GPS phone 6.6.7 and you search that. and then it's going to bring you over here to G and you want to click on this file GPS phone 6.6.7 uh, at depositfiles.com and then you're going to come to a site like this you're going to press the free download well it's going to look like this so you're going to press the free download it's going to make you wait 60 seconds you start the download next what you're going to need to do is you need to go to diskade or your SSH client you see it's loading up there so it's going to ask me to look at my root portion of my iPod Touch or if you have iPhone you can use iPhone too. So I go ahead and press OK. So then it's going to load up all my stuff. Okay. And what I need to do or what you guys need to do is um, I had to do this so I'm figuring that most of you guys are going to have to do it too. You're going to go to var then you're going to go to root then you're going to go to media and then you're going to have to create this file right here with this gate you just um, while you're highlighted on media you press the create folder and then you um, create the folder uh, so make sure it's cop it's a capital C Cydia then you create another folder inside the Cydia folder called auto install so you create a folder auto install uh, A is capitalized and the I is uh, capitalized as well so and then you put in your GPS phone 6.6.7 and uh, I already did this so I'm going to delete that and I'll just show you guys how to do it so you just you go to your thing and then go to the file that you just downloaded and you just drag this over and you drop it in and it will be there um, alright now to install it what you guys need to do is you need to reboot the device I recommend going into Cydia and downloading SPS settings because once you and then go to your home screen uh, once it uh, you know respring's or whatever it needs to do, and then slide across the top, and then press the power button that's on the bottom right, uh, in the bottom right. Well, not exactly bottom right, but like in the right of it. And this can bring up different power settings. How to like you can power off, lock, safe mode, or reboot. I would press reboot, and then let it reboot. And then after that's done, slide your finger across the top again to bring up SP settings, and then respring and now your now GPS phone will be installed um, so next what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go into City again and you're gonna wanna download uh, well go into Cydia and you're gonna want to add this repository right here Cydia.xlis.com I'll go ahead and zoom in just in case you guys can't see that see right there it's called um, then you wanna go I would search GPS PHO and it'll bring up um, this right here. And when you install it, uh, GPS phone, you'll notice that it says that you have the paid version, which is uh, which is what is supposed to happen. So next, then you go to GPS phone BIOS, which is from XLIs. You click on it, and then what you're going to come up to is a p this page right here. And it's going to ask you to. And well, it's going to give you the details of the of the BIOS file, and then you just go. This this is actually going to say install instead of modify, and then so you press install. It's going to install into your um, automatically install and put the BIOS folder into your GPA. And now, uh, and then you guys are set and ready to go. You guys will have a GPS phone, which works. Um, yeah, I've done this, and this is how I've done it, and it's worked just perfectly. So now to put in ROMs into your iPod, you're going to have to use Diskgate again. Or you can download, um, if you find the right kind of ROM you could or um, repository, you can download them straight from your iPod or iPhone. So you're going to go to VAR, Mobile, Media, and then you look for ROMs. And then you go GBA, and then you can see I already have a couple games, and I'll actually add some more games here. Um, 
say like I got Mario Kart so all you do is drag it right into the folder automatic and it will put it in and now I have uh, Mario Kart on my thing you see right there so that's how you guys do this uh, I know it's really fast uh, if I will put all the uh, instructions that I um, have have how I did this into the description you guys can go ahead and take a look at that I'll put in even the, the repository link and everything so I hope this guys helped you because I know it's it was really frustrating for me not seeing that GPS was on my repository uh, GPS phone so hope those guys helped you um, it really helped me I, I did this on my own so if you guys can uh, go ahead and rate the video and let me know that you guys appreciate it thanks guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this